So today we're going to go through using the Bosch video management system um, known as BVMS. Um, we're going to create a, a series of tutorials demonstrating different functions of operator client which is a piece of the BVMS software. Um, demonstrating different things um, in the software that an operator would frequently use. Um, things like live viewing, playback, and provide a few tips along the way to make the overall experience easier for the user and get the most out of the software. Um, we're going to be using uh, version 10.0. Um, however, as the software gets upgraded in the future, uh, most of the functionality remains the same. It may just look a little bit different, but the basic principle behind it um, is exactly the same. So if you're using a different version of BVMS in the future, more than likely you're going to have the same functionality. It may just be a different icon or you may access something slightly differently. So in the first video we're going to give a general overview of the operator client interface. Um, that way we have a good platform to build the rest of this series off of and you understand where basic func uh, buttons and different functions of the software are located. So proper use and thorough knowledge of any user interface of any video management system is essential for security operations at every organization. If your organization needs assistance with BVMS or any of your security systems, please contact your security system vendor or our professional services team at support at midchess.com or visit our website at midchess.com. All right, let's get started. From the desktop of your workstation, this is what the operator client icon will look like. Now we are going to log in. The client will load on the workstation and the user interface will appear. So once you are in operator client there are several different buttons and features to the software uh, but we will go through more of the commonly used ones and their different uses. So when you initially log in by default you are at the live the live screen. Um, you know this by the icon in the corner here of the camera means that you're in live. Um, if you're ever not sure of what something in the software does, if you hover over it, it will show you a little description of what the button is. So here we have live mode. Right next to that is playback. This is for audio control, volume up and down. Um, and then starting from the left and going across this area here is what is known as the logical tree. So this is going to have all of the cameras, um, monitor walls, decoders, and anything that would be configured in the system displayed in an order that's configured in configuration client, which is another piece of the Bosch software. Down at the bottom here we have camera control. This is for PTZs and 360 or 180 degree cameras. Depending on what camera you're clicked on at the time, this area will either be grayed out or uh, highlighted for you to use um, the different camera controls. And it depends on the type of camera which control you will have, but we'll explain that later. Going back up to the top here, these are different screen setting modes. So here we have hide image pane bars, which simply means when you drag a camera out, it will hide the name and other information that may not be important at the time. It just makes the image on the screen larger. This is full screen, so this will, this will hide the logical tree and this alarm area down here to make the images for the camera camera is bigger um, so you get more of a larger picture of this 
area. Right here, it's grayed out currently. This is the um, alarm display, so if you have alarms configured in the system, this will light up if there is an alarm, such as motion or another um, pre-configured alarm. The printer icon allows you to print uh, an image out of the, the pane that you're in currently at the time. So you can see as I click through the different panes, it highlights with this light blue indicating which pane you're clicked on at that time. The camera icon here allows you to take a snapshot of that particular pane you're on, uh, but this will also include information about the camera such as the, the name, the date, the location. Uh, and other important information that might be needed. The star is to create favorites. Um, favorites are another topic that we will discuss in another video, but this allows the user to create custom favorites. Um, if they have a certain set of cameras they, they view often, that is where you would create that. And like I said, we will cover that in another video. Bookmarks are simply areas where you can mark video, so you can go back and review them later on in playback. Um, it just provides a, a, a marking point in the video timeline to review later on. The icon all the way on the end here is for audio. So if you have audio recording set up, you can either enable or disable audio recording on a camera. Uh, moving, along this, moving along the top here, we have, this is playback control. Um, this comes into play with instant playback um, and other playback functions of the software. Uh, the little speed indicator here is how quickly the playback plays. Um, the, the little running man is obviously sped up and the turtle is slower. These X's here, the four X's here will close all the images on the screen at one time. So if you are trying to bring out a new set of cameras or you want to change what's on the screen by simply clicking this you'll clear all the cameras at once. The plus and minus here allows you to control how many images you can fit onto one screen. Uh, the more images you put on a screen the harder it's going to work the computer. However in some instances on larger monitors you can see more cameras clearly if the images are not too small as they might be on a smaller screen. The question mark here is simply a help button so if you ever get hung up on a problem in the software or you're not sure about something you can click this and search different functions of the software by keywords um, go through different if you're not sure of a keyword you can scroll through here and look for the topic that you're interested in, but we will cover this in another video as well. Moving down to the bottom, uh, this is the alarm queue area. So if you have different alarms set up based on motion or any number of alarms, disconnects, there's several different things that, several different pieces of information that it can display down here. Uh, depending on your level of credentials, you may or may not see this. Um, that is all configured in Configuration Client, but we will cover this in a separate video on how to operate this area.